thing we'll see the interface configuration on the ASA firewall. Now, this is going to be my default topology what I'll be using for my labs. So this is my ASA firewall, which is connecting to uh, multiple routers. And I'm simulating the router one, which is acting as my uh, device on the inside interface. And then router two is simulating a router, which is on the outside network. So I'm going to assume this is my outside interface connecting to internet. And then this is my inside interface. And then of course I'm using some router three as one DMZ, uh, assuming it's a server and I'll be uh, assuming uh, I'll be assuming that this is a server and hosting some services. So likewise, in some scenarios, I may use router four with some DMZ four, something like that. But at the end, you don't really need need two DMZs, but but I just uh, did the basic configuration uh, as an additional DMZ for testing in the future labs. Now the overall configuration wise, uh, on the ASA. Uh, it's the same commands what we use on the routers like we need to assign the IP address getting to the interface the interface which connects to the entire interface it's g0 by 1 assign the IP address and your no shutdown command same like a router but inside the ASA firewall we need to add two additional commands where you, need, you must define the name uh, you can give any name it's up to you we can say inside we can say LAN whatever and and then you need to define the security level now, security level, as we discussed in the previous sessions, it defines the trust uh, trust of the interface. Higher uh, the traffic, the, the interface from uh, any traffic initiated from that interface is considered as a more trusted, then you can view highest, highest of all. So I decided to use 100 here, uh, probably 0 here, 50 here. Now, similar way, we need to go to the interface G0 by 2 and assign the same thing. And security level, I decided to go with 0 on the G0 by 2 interface. Likewise, on the G0 by 3, I'm using the DMZ as 3, and then the city level as 50. So, if I go to this router, now um, as per my topology, I think I, I just did the basic configuration already. So, if I say show uh, run interface G0 by 1, you can see I already configured the inside with a city level of 100. And also, if I verify with show run interface G0 by 2. So let me quickly configure G0 by 3 interface. So I'm going to say IP address is going to be 10.0.3.10 as per my topology. And then I'm going to say no shutdown. Now you must say no shutdown. And if I if I verify with show IP interface brief, in fact, this show interface IP brief, I can see G0 by 3 interface is shown here. And did I give any name? Name if I have to say DMZ. So DMZ, uh, you can also use small letters, DMZ3, let's say. And by default, whenever you assign any name, the default security level assigned will be zero, uh, except inside name, because if I'm, if I'm using the default name as inside, then automatically the security level goes to 100 uh, as per the defaults. Uh, but if you assign any other name, normally the security level will be zero assigned by default. So in, in my case, I want to change the security level to 50. So I'm going to change it. Of course, we can save the configurations like we read on the routers. And then we can also verify with show run interface G0 by 3 to verify the interface specific configurations. Now the next thing, I, I have the same configurations. I, I, I did the same configurations on the routers with some IP addressing. You can see here. Uh, let me just go to the router 1. And if I say show IP interface brief, and the router one is pre configured with this IP addresses. And if you want to test the connectivity between the router and the ASA, like I'll try to test the connectivity between these two and these two interfaces, or you can test it from the ASA itself. I'll try to ping to router one, the IP address which is pre configured. You can see I'm able to ping. So, likewise, I'll try to ping to router two, which is on the outside network. It should be able to ping. Now again, uh, we cannot communicate between router 1 router 2 unless you do some kind of routing. We'll talk about routing and the, and the basic routing options and the other setup later on in the next, next videos.